we aren't even going to talk. We're not going to talk about it. We're not. We're not going to talk about it. We're gonna. We're gonna just start. And yeah, I have done some serious damage over the last couple of weeks, and the only way to justify that is a. I've done a massive clear out, and all of it should be on Vinted as you guys are watching this, if me and Jake are not hungover. Um, and B, I kind of realized over my birthday that I've kind of let myself slip into, I'm not gonna say boring, but like very, oh, hi, anyway, I haven't even said hi. Hi, I'm Misha Grams, hi, hi. I feel like I've let myself slip into kind of like normal, less extra dressing and then over my birthday i was dressed really extra the whole weekend and i felt so much more me so much more confident like i just loved it so it kind of inspired me to get some slightly more extra pieces um and also obviously like springtime is coming and i've got something in the pipeline and yeah so i just thought that i would do a big fat Spring haul. Um, do we start with Primark? I feel like that's the most sensible choice. Um, also, just to talk through me outfit, me outfit, me outfit. Um, I have got this top on, which is from Hollister. There will be stuff from Hollister in this video. I've got stuff from Zara, Hollister, Urban Outfitters, H and M, Brandy Melville, Primark, and other stories and Nike. Actually, let's show you my Nike purchase first. Now, when I bought these, I posted them on my story and I had so many DMs asking where I got them. I got them in office, but they were the last pair. They were the last pair, they were the display pair. Um, so they aren't in like perfect, perfect condition. Um, like, can you see, I need to put some stuffing in them because it's just like folding forward a little bit. Um, but they are gorgeous. They're like this minty, really light green. I don't know if you can see. I love my dunks. I have like a rosy pinky dunk and then I have black dunks. And I just thought these were the perfect spring summer shoe. Um, because I do love my Air Forces, but you know when you just want something to like spice up an outfit a little bit more? And I thought these were perfect. And I was tempted by this other pink pair, but they were literally 300 pounds in resale. And I was like, I already have a pink pair. I don't need another pink pair. So anyway, yeah. This top, Hollister, and these joggers, I don't even know, I don't even know how to show you them. Because I've currently got my camera balanced on my old phone and a pair of scissors. But they're literally just grey joggers. They are grey joggers, nothing special, they're from Brandy Melville. But I just needed a new pair of grey joggers, like, that's it. Let's go for Primark. Let's get going. Okay. Buckle up, this is gonna be a long video. And also, if you can't be bothered to listen to me here, I have already done this on TikTok. Not that I'm trying to send you to my TikTok and not watch this YouTube video, because feel free to watch this YouTube video. But I'm just saying, I post so much on TikTok. So, if you like my content on here, go and check me out on TikTok, because I literally post like four or five times a day on TikTok. So if you're not bored of me, Go check me out there. Um, sorry, I'm just checking what Molly has texted me. That's fine. Okay, so random purchase, number one. A laptop case. I bought said laptop case. I am so shit with my laptop. I do not protect it. I literally just check it in my handbag and that is why it looks butchered and is butchered. Um, so I bought this because I thought, you know, it's already got butchered after four years. Why don't I protect it now? No, I am gonna buy myself a new laptop. Um, just not yet, not yet. I'm waiting for her to fully die before I purchase her because they are flipping expensive. Okay, then I got this, which is kind of giving picnic blanket couture, but I also think it's kind of adorable. Now I could see this with like a black all-in-one, um, but it's just, it's kind of, kind of really cute. So I got this in a 2XS because I always feel like in Westfield they either have like 2XS or 2XL, like there's no in between. I will say this was 20 Great British Pounds, 
20 great British pounds. That feels quite expensive for Primark, if you ask me. So I like it, but because it is quite like, I don't know if it's worth 20 pounds. Okay, next up, I got these Zara dupe tops. Um, first up, I got this green one which is an extra small and eight pounds. And then I got this stripy one, um, which is also an extra small. And this one was seven pounds. Um, I'm 100% gonna keep this green because this is such a nice shade of green. So let me put this on. It's actually a very similar shape to this Hollister top, but it's like a thicker woven knit. They killed this top. They absolutely killed this top. I will say this is an extra small, which is what like a six slash eight. Is that what their sizing is? Yeah, six slash eight. It's a bit tight on my arms, like under my armpits. I don't know if I have broad armpits. Please let me know. Actually, please don't let me know. I don't need something to be insecure about. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, but yeah, I love this color. The quality is really nice. Like it's not nippy. 10 out of 10, straight fire Primark. They had this in loads of different colors and I kind of want to go back and get it in other colors. Okay, so this is the other shape. Um, it's literally such a dupe for the Zara ones, um, but obviously cheaper. It's not that much cheaper. Like I don't think the Zara ones are that expensive, um, but it's still an option. What do we think about the like creamy color with the pink stripes? Again, I'm, whoop, again, I'm like, oh, like would I wear it that much? But then I'm also like, go away Primark bag. But then I'm also like, Mish, you're trying to wear a little bit more extra. And I know a stripy top is not that extra, but like with a pair of jeans, very cute. <coughs> Yes, I'm still ill and I have been for, before my birthday, um, I was like getting a bit ill and then I felt fine over my birthday and then after my birthday, I've just been ill since. So, uh, you know when like your head hurts when you cough? Like it's not just your chest and your throat, like your head hurts. Anyway, next up, I got this very cute little co-ord. Um, I got the jacket in a size 14. Um, and then I got the shorts in a size eight. I will say I don't have a great track record with Primark shorts. I just feel like the fit of them is not that great. Um, but this jacket, really stinking cute. Sorry, they are very tight. I even feel like with Primark, things come up so big or so small. Sorry, I can't breathe in them. I literally cannot breathe in them. It's kind of giving like grandma's sack. Jacket cute. Shorts not cute. Not cute. Okay, the memory card's dying. That's good. This is why cameras stress me out. Next up, I got these scrum diddly umptious, quite cheeky PJs. I will not be leaving the house in these, but they were £13. I love this shade of yellow. This top I would actually wear as a top. The shorts obviously not um but i will say that this is a size small which apparently in primark is an eight to ten i can tell you it's not i can tell you it is not anyone with a boob bigger than an a cup would not fit in this so there's that <laughs> okay so also i'm realizing how ugly this pile of clothes look but we will be coming to those got this little set now this is their love to lounge collection and i'm obsessed with this color i will say i got a size small and like it it's just a bit too baggy like the waistband it is just not really doing anything for me so i think if i got this in an extra small it would be so cute just as like a little summery chuck on you know like a linen shirt just when you want to go about and um this set was eight pounds which I don't think is bad. The bands are quite thick. I would probably prefer the bands to be a little bit thinner, but like that's just the design of it. So you can't complain. And then I get a similar vibe, but different in another greeny bluey color. Okay, this is the next set. Again, it is a little bit like gapey on the waistband, but like this one, you can kind of turn it over. Also, it has the most adorable little detailing this was also eight pounds and it has a scrunch bum primark bringing out the scrunch bum don't mind if i do so yeah i do really like this one i think this one is a keep 
little random miscellaneous bits. Um, I got some of these little clippies, two pounds each. Yes, I needed both of them because they had different shades. Um, but I, I had some out earlier. Where are they? Have I already lost one? See, this is why I need to buy multiple packs of them. But basically, I just get them and go like that. And I think they're so cute. Maybe not appropriate for 24, but when have I ever cared about that? I shown you these. Did I? I can't recall. I think I did. Yeah, I did, I did. I'm losing the plot. It's because I filmed TikToks back to back with this content. Like, my brain can't keep up. Um, it's also 8 p.m. I don't know why I've decided to film this video, but basically, if I have makeup on, I don't know what my skin's gonna be like the next day, so I like need to cram everything in in case it flares my eczema. It's kind of a, what is it? What's that saying? But it's that. So I, my brain doesn't work in this video. That is why, because it is 8 p.m. on a Wednesday night. Okay, so I got this coat from And Other Stories. Um, and it was in sale from £150 to £85. Now, would I be wearing this coat with this set? Probably not. Um, but it's like this white, fluffy teddy bear. But look at the buttons. How me are these buttons? Now, I know I've literally shown, like, summer stuff, and now I've got, like, a coat on. So this is kind of a purchase for next year rather than this year. But I just, I don't have the best coat repertoire. So... I love this, but Jake did say if I'm gonna add a coat, I have to take away a coat because my coat wardrobe is full, even though I don't have the best coat repertoire. So, there is that. Moving onwards, let's go. Now, H&M, let's do you next. I got this really cute, but very overpriced um, little floral hair tie. I just think with like, a bikini or a little summer's dress. God, I've done this. So ratchet. But you get the idea. Like, it's just... I'm going to pull out my hair. It's just a cute little hair tie. Um, anyway. Then, next up, I got these jeans. As I was saying, I want to be more extra. I've realised how much I miss wearing pink. So I bought these pink jeans. If you remember, I actually used to own a pair of pink jeans. They would never fit me now. I have no clue where they are. Um, but yeah, I got these. Now these are tight anyway, so I don't know why I've decided to put them on with booty shorts. But here they are. And I like them, but I don't know if I love them. Let me just try and show you. You guys know I'm very picky when it comes to the fit of my trousers. And I just feel like these are a bit too high-waisted. And I'm just not like obsessed with the shape of them. But I also know I will never be obsessed with the shape of denim. But you know when you're just like, mm, if I'm gonna get pink jeans, the fit of them, I need to love because they're difficult to like necessarily wear on a daily anyway. But if I love like the way that they feel, then I'm more inclined to wear them. Whereas these feel a bit uncomfortable. Then I don't know if this is the ugliest thing I've ever bought. Um, this is in a size large and it was £34.99. I just kind of wanted like a denim jacket that was a little bit more, but I don't know if this is a little bit too much more. Can you see the idea I was going for? But is it hideous? So it's like a dark wash with these little flowers. But like, is it? I don't know. I think I should have a medium. I think the large is too baggy and oversized. So I think a medium would be a better fit. Um, but please tell me if it's hideous, because I actually will listen to you guys' opinion if you say it's hideous. I say this, and then you'll literally go on my Instagram in like four days, and I'll be wearing it. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I'm going to make piles of what I'm keeping and what I am returning. Currently, the returning pile is bigger than the keeping pile, which is good. These are going in the returns. Sorry, pink jeans. It was nice knowing you. And this jacket, currently she's going in returns, but I am going to order her in a size smaller and see if that makes it any better. Okay, so, uh, are we allowed to go off board and go off H&M for a second? Because I've got this jumper and I have to show you it. 
So I got this from Brandy Melville as well. Um, and it's an M jumper. And I know it's kind of tacky to walk around with my flipping letter on my jumper, but I just love the like varsity style of this. I think it's so cute. I can imagine it with jeans. I can imagine it with like a little skirt, like a little navy skirt. Ah! I just love the varsity stuff and this is such good quality. And I just think it's really cute. And anyone on the street wouldn't know that my name's Misha, so they wouldn't know that I'm wearing the letter of my name. Like, they'll just think that I'm wearing a cute jumper. Surely. Hopefully. Anyway. I don't know if I'm not getting more ill. I feel really rough. I also don't know if I've just, I've just had a very anxious day. And I feel like maybe it's all just coming out of me now. I feel like I'm being so dramatic, but you know when you just feel like so, like vertigo, that's how it feels. Um, what to go for next? Okay, I've got a few more H&M bits. So let's pop these on. I got these green trousers. Um, these are beach trousers. They were £22.99. I got them in an extra small, but I'm not sure that that's the size that I should have got. I'm not sure these are going together anytime soon, but it's worth a try. This jumper is a big fat keep. I love it. I have already pulled the tag off. I want to love these pants, but I just, I don't know. Like, I feel like where they're sitting, I think I need a bigger size. Where they're sitting is a bit weird and the pockets are really puffy but then the trousers aren't puffy. So like they puff out at the pocket and then they go down. I feel like if I got these in like a small or a medium, they would make the whole leg wider and then the sticky out pocket would be less obvious. Cause like the actual color and everything of them is lush. It's just that that I'm not a fan of, like this bit. So again, maybe this is another size order. And then I got this white t-shirt this says amour paris um it was £9.99 and i got it in an extra small and i got this because i thought it looked like one of the Loewe, Loewe, i never know how you say it t-shirts um but obviously a rather small fraction of the price this is the top now as i said it's an extra small and it is actually quite tight but i kind of love the fit of it like i kind of think it's serving not with these pants i'm really i'm not vibe, i'm not vibing the pants but the t-shirt it's like a white tee but it just has something something tiny to add to it and the fit of it h&m do this top in other colors like plain i want it the fit of this is so nice it's a little bit nippy but it was 10 pounds so what can you expect i should just learn to wear bras Anyway, we're going to take another diversion from H&M and we're going to go to Zara. Just whilst I have this top on, I can try on this pink suit that I got. As I told you, I'm, I'm on a bit of a pink hype at the moment. I've always been, but you know when like, you reignite the flame? Okay, I've just ordered myself a pad tie on delivery because I'm like, maybe that will fix me. Maybe that will make me feel better. But let's pop on this little Zara suit. I'm obsessed with this jacket, like how chic, kind of like the Primark one, but this is more like, I'd say springy and obviously it's not like a woven fabric. I will say though that the buttons for 60 quid, I'm sorry, they look cheap. And these pants, they're not a vibe. They're a size small and they are so big. Um, they are so like saggy in the crotch. They're just, they're not a vibe. Should I try to come up? This feels like a really stupid idea. Kids, don't try this at home. Here you go, can you see? Like, to be fair, it's my fault. I've literally been posting YouTube videos for five years and every time I buy a cigarette pant, I always say I don't like a cigarette pant on me. So why do I do it? I don't know, I'll never learn. I will never learn. So I think this set, but I love the blazer. So I'm like, maybe the blazer's a keep. We'll see, we'll see. Okay. I don't I don't have it in me to put this on, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a see-through lacy dress that I got from H&M. I just don't I, don't, I don't, I don't, it's not inspiring me to put it on right now. I actually really like it, 
but I do want it in a size up. I feel like my H&M stuff, I seem to have got all of it in the complete wrong size, um, which is fine. But anyway, we're gonna make a diversion now to Hollister, and then we've still got Urban Outfitters. Um, so, Hollister was a massive dark horse. I was so impressed by so much of their stuff. It was really nice quality. It was expensive, but like, it wasn't Abercrombie prices. I also did say on my TikTok, I did see a 14 year old girl trying on and buying this outfit. And I was thinking, I'm 10 years older than you and I'm buying the same outfit. Is that really weird? Probably, but I did it anyway. So this is like an everyday chuck on little summer dress. It's actually a play suit. Um, but what a gorgeous pattern. What a gorgeous fit. You can do it off the shoulder like this, or you can do like a little cap sleeve. But like, it's safe, it's secure, it's stunning quality, and it's so cute. Even if I am matching with 14 year olds in the street, it's fine. I'm young at heart. The original reason I actually went into Hollister was because I saw a TikTok of this girl being like, don't sleep on Hollister swimwear, like they've got the cutest swimwear. Um, and she was right. There was so many nice bikinis, I just didn't have my size. Um, but sorry, this is giving like a gorgeous Greek vibes. The bottoms are like a bit more like coverage, but then also not. And like the high rise, like the V shape, the triangle bikini, it wasn't cheap. It was 25 pounds for the top and it was 17 pounds for the bottom. But I do think like buying swimmer that's a little bit more expensive is a good idea because otherwise you end up buying crappy cheap bikinis every single year and just like keep on buying them which is what i've tried not to do this year like i'm trying to buy things that are still not like blooming expensive but not like three pound bikinis from shein because you're gonna hate them next year so it's just a massive waste um then i also got this skirt this is the only thing i got from hollister that i'm unsure about um just because i'm so straight up and down that i don't know if this doesn't just accentuate it so i used to <gasps> If you guys know, I don't think you would have ever. Basically, my first ever pageant that I did, maybe was it my second, I had these white lace shorts. They'll be in my memory box somewhere. They were from Hollister and they were literally like this, but they were in shorts. And I wore them for the pajama party and I have like an emotional connection to those shorts. So maybe that's why I picked up this skirt. Like I think it's so Misha, it's so cute. I just don't know if this like band across my stomach is that flattering because I'm so straight and it feels like it's a bit poof. I also do really like it, so I'm unsure. Help, let me know. Oh, I do have some tees from them as well. That original t-shirt that I showed you, um, I'm pretty sure they must have had like an offer on because I wouldn't have just randomly bought three t-shirts. I know I picked up two and then I think it was like get a third for three or something. Um, but I got this pink one. I don't know that I would style it with this skirt, but you can see it with the skirt. How cute. Who would have thought? Who would have thought Hollister killing it with the cute little tees? Um, so yeah, I went for the pink because of course I went for the pink. Next up, we have this one, which could potentially be my favorite. Um, I do love me some blue. I feel like pink, blue, green, and yellow. I know I've just named so many colors, but I think they might be my favorite. Um, this is the blue. It looks so cute with just like a pair of jeans. So like a pair of denim shorts would be adorable, but also just like over the top of a bikini. I mean, it's not really an outfit to leave the house in, but when you're on holiday, delightful. Home stretch, we've got two more things to show you. I feel random just standing here on my bikini bottoms in literally March. We're still in March, aren't we? Um, now I got this dress from Urban Outfitters. I had my eye on it and then I got a notification from Urban Outfitters being like, oh, as a member, you have 20% off. So I was like, oh, 20% off this dress. Don't mind if I do. Um, so this dress is originally 69 pounds, but I got 20% off. Was it 69 or 65? 64. So 10% would be six pound 40. Two times £6.40 would be £12.80. So £64 minus £12.80, 
£64 minus £10 is £54 minus £2 is... Where, what are my numbers? Why am I choosing to do math right now? No, this is going to be embarrassing if I don't get this right. £64, 6 plus 6 is 12. No, way. So it needs to be £6.40 plus £6.40. So that's £12.80. Yeah, sorry, I got that far. So then 64 minus £12.80 is 64 minus 10, which is 54. And then 54 minus £2.80. So 54 minus £2 is £52. And then minus 80p is £51.20. That was the longest case of maths. If I'm trying to not come across like I'm thick on the internet, I've not done a very good job there, but I am not a picture person. Like I can't picture numbers, I can't picture words, I can't picture spellings, I have to write it down. Dyslexia in me, dyslexia in me, just doesn't allow it. Um, but anyway, let's get on and put this dress on now that we know that I paid 51 pound 20. Was it 52 pounds? I can't remember. Whatever I said before, hopefully it's right. So this dress is giving how to lose a guy in 10 days. I love these little like Tinkerbell detail sleeves that loads of places keep doing. I think it is beyond beautiful. The back of this dress is stunning. It's kind of got, I'm gonna come back up on the sofa. Okay, it's kind of got like a dip hem, which I think is so gorgeous. This would be stunning for a summer wedding. And I do have one, but I don't know that this is the vibe because the wedding's in London and I don't know, but this dress is just so beautiful. You know when you feel like it's a dress that you would just keep forever? Like, that's what this dress gives me the vibe of. The only thing that pees me off is the fact that the lining isn't here, so you can, like, see the fact it's sheer. Nobody else would notice that. That's literally such a me thing. Um, I know they say that blondes shouldn't wear yellow, but I love yellow on a blonde. I think it looks really striking. Um, one more piece to go. A cute little top, and then we are all free of me. <laughs> the joggers are coming back on. She's ready to be done, done and dusted. Um, but I've got this final top, which was £49 from Urban Outfitters. I did get it at 20% off, and I love it. Like, I think this detailing is so pretty, but I don't like these two little see-through flaps. They're, they're just flapping about. I think this would be so much cuter if it was cropped like there then like there's not as much fabric to go like this but for a 49 pound top like i need to love it this just isn't it's not enough so on that note let's check on my pad tie see where it's at apparently it's being made and it's going to be here in five minutes or 20 minutes i think it's more like 20 considering they haven't even collected it yet but anyway, I will link what I can. Um, sorry, I've been a bit all over the place. I just feel like there's a lot going on in my life right now. And there's a lot to organise and I'm just a little bit overwhelmed and like trying to keep up with different socials. And I just need to slow myself down, calm myself down, have a bath, get a grip and move on. So anyway, I love you guys a lot. I'm now going to clean up this mess that I've made all over the flat because this is not what Jake's going to want to come home to tonight. Um, because it looks like a shop has been ransacked all over our living room floor. But anyway, I love you guys lots, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.